All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. It's your good friend Possible here, and I'm back in action with a quick look at an anime movie show that came out recently. Uh, this one, I have to admit, I'm kind of setting myself up on because I'm trying to go for one of those instant shows. You know, the promise is three minutes or less, or we'll go longer than that. And when it comes to animes, it's not easy to do, you know, the three minutes or less, because this is a show. This is 25 episodes. It's really difficult to try to condense it all. But we're only going to focus on the first few episodes, the setup, if you will, of this show. And I'll explain to you why you should watch it. The show, of course, Cross Ange, uh, Rondondo, uh, Rondo of Angel and Dragon. Uh, basically... To understand this world, you have to go to the beginning where it's a perfect world at last. No crime, no stealing, nobody's getting angry, everyone's living happily ever after, and they can all use magic to make things happen. It's an amazing world where anything we want can be made true like that. So we have finally evolved to our peak form, and at the top of that peak is Angelis, uh, the girl that you see in front of you. She is a princess of this world. It is um, hers to rule. What's interesting is that she grew up to be this old, not realizing she's a norm. A Norma, excuse me. And you notice how a Norma sounds a lot like normal? That's because basically these are people who cannot use magic. As a matter of fact, it goes further than that. These are people who, if they touch magic, they can break it or something. That's the test, in other words. And uh, she, and this is like, you know, one thing that I think inspired this was World War II. You know, you had the um, the Germans trying to create the quote-unquote perfect world, and then you had the Jews who were the bad people. And that's kind of the vibe I got here. You know, you got, you're in this perfect world, and now you got these Normas who are just evil, who are supposed to be considered evil. And Angelis turns out to be one of them. So she has to go live with the Normals. Now, one thing I did like about this movie, and I liked a lot about it, was the fact that she starts off, she has her moments. You know, she's not a perfect heroine. There are moments you really don't like her. There are moments you really love her. And it goes, it runs the gambit between the two. And she runs the gambit of emotions. You know, there are times she's really strong. There's times she's just falling apart to the point where she's almost killing herself. You know, and it's a very strong show. It's a very bold show uh, in comparison to what I've seen before. As I said before, you know, one reason I love anime is because anime is one of those genres that will create an entire universe more so than anything else. So we don't have to worry about what, or what, what our current situation is. We have this whole new place that is basically... Uh, a, a totally different area. So learning the rules and the ins and outs is kind of difficult because it's not something you would ever expect. And that's one thing I loved about this show. So much of it was unexpected from beginning to end. You know, so you got Ange. She turns out she's a normal. So, and the first thing she did was trash on them. She's like, oh my God, this person is a norma. They're filth. They need to be disposed of right away. And uh, by disposed, I mean they're sent to an island. Now, this is where it's really good. Try to follow this logic if you can. It's an island which is sort of a woman, women's in prison movie, okay? She is a prisoner on this island. What does she have to do on this island? Well, she's a pilot of these... Ah, I can't... Um, Ragnar rails or Ragnar. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it. But they're like planes, but they're planes that turn into robots. It's anime after all. So, yeah, so she's in these planes. The plane turns into robots and they fight the dragons that come through these holes for reasons. Even she doesn't know what's going on. And that's the setup for Ange. She's a princess, high society, meant to be um, loved by all. She comes from a perfect world. And then she is thrown into a literal hellhole. You know, it's like there was no stopping. You go from the top to the bottom, but then there's 50 feet of crap below the bottom, and that's where she winds up. And now she's got to fight for her life against these dragons. The interesting thing about this movie is that, and I meant TV show, of course, but, you know, it, old habits die hard. The interesting thing about this show is that for the first few episodes... 
she meets up with these dragons and they're pretty badass and they got these massive powers they can do amazing things but these are seasoned veterans except for her and they know what they're doing and everything that's the last time you really see of that until near the beginning of the movie that's when you get a sense of what's going on now cross Ange rondo of angel and dragons uh, lives and dies by its complexities. This is not a straightforward show. That's why I wanted to start with just the first few shows and not go any further than that because I do want you to see it. It's great to see and you, it's great to appreciate all the revelations that come out from beginning to end. I mean, these his revelations get so crazy, it even gets to a point where she just wants to give up. She's like, I don't know who to trust anymore. I don't know what to trust. Everyone's lying to me. Everything's a lie. Even, you know, whether the, the good people or the bad people, the bad people turn out to be good people, the good people turn out to be bad people. Allies become enemies, enemies become lovers, and uh, it just goes crazy. This is anime, so you got a lot of fan service, and you got the women in prison vibe going on, so you know where that leads from there. And uh, you also have this introduction of a guy named Task. Task is hilarious. He's one of the characters that really make this movie. A lot of characters make this movie, but he is funny. He's one of the few guys in this movie that's actually a good guy, not a villain like so many. But he's funny. He's always messing up in humorous ways. When I first saw that, I was a little taken back, thinking to myself, oh my God, we have the, the screwball boy cliche. But he really comes into his own, especially at the end, and he really makes it happen. It builds up to an exciting climax. However, I must leave you with a warning. I enjoyed Cross Ange. I thought it was a great show. Beautifully written, beautifully thought out, beautifully drawn. And so complex, it's almost over complex. I mean, there's this one time... You know what I hate the most in, in these shows is that sometimes you have to sit down and you have to just give a whole show to exposition. Otherwise, you won't understand a thing. And they do that once or twice in this show, so it's not too bad. It's very complex, like I said, but they commit a major sin in like the either the third or the fourth to the last episode. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Believe me, when you see it, you'll know. But the point I'm trying to make is if you just forgive that one sin, you'll be okay. But you will, don't be scratching your head over it. You'll just give yourself a headache. And, you know, you'll be wondering, why did they do that to us? Why did they, you know, try to get away with something? After all that they've done, after all that they've thought about and all that they put in to simply resolve a problem without resolving it was wrong. And uh, you'll understand what I mean when you see this movie. Fan service. Let's end this with fan service. Yes, of course there's fan service. This is meant for adults and all stuff like that. Uh, it does have things, you know, that a woman in prison movie or show would have had. You know, the kind of sexuality involved is there. There are no male guards, so you know where I'm going with this. That said, it's nothing too bad. Um... It had some really interesting moments. Again, they did things in this show that you know Americans could never do in their shows. But uh, it's definitely worthy. It's action-packed. It's adventurous. It's exciting. It's mysterious. You know, just when you think you've got it, got it all figured out, turns out the whole thing was wrong from the get-go. And uh, I have to admit, I really thought I had this show figured out. But um, it ended a little bit easier than I wanted it to, but it ended well. And it was filmed well. And it started very well. So if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you check out Cross Ange, Rondo of Angels and Dragons. All right, guys. That's it for me today. We'll see you at the theaters.